Hey guys, welcome to my review of the POC signature series S55 tower speaker. I am using the S55 on the front, S35 as the center, S15 as the surround and OWM3 in the ceiling for Atmos height effects. I also run two subwoofers, POC HTS12 and DSW Pro 440WI. Everything runs on my Denon 3600H AV receiver. It's been a month since I bought the speaker, so I think it's the right time for a review. As always, I'm not going to go deep on the specification. You can pause the video and edit here. I believe that showing the specification and a sound demo is in called a review. This video will be focused more on the facts and opinions. Let's talk about the sound stage first. For this speaker, you do need to place them at the right position and also have to maintain the correct distance, which is a perfect triangle. Now some speakers like the KFQ series are a bit forgiving in terms of placement but not the S55 or at least what I have personally noticed in this room. If I sit too far or keep them closer to each other, it really makes a negative impact on the sound stage. If you maintain at least 6 feet of distance, then it really makes a good stereo separation. They are really good at creating that phantom center image. Which means when you play a stereo content like music, you may feel like the sound is coming from the middle. It has a 6.25 inch woofer, the bottom one is just a passive radiator for bass. The sound is clear but I feel that they are bass heavy and not neutral sounding at all. If you are running them full range without a subwoofer then you will be really surprised by how much bass they produce. During my purchase I have tested them against the POC S50. I feel that they produce sort of a same type of sound signature but the S50 are more neutral and the S55 are more bass heavy. Now you would think that since I am already running dual sub and a crossover of 80Hz, then what's the point of buying S55 and not the S50? Well, one of my concern was the tweeter heights. Now, in an ideal room, tweeter height has to be at ear level and I have noticed that S50 speaker heights is not ideal. So you need to put them in some sort of pedestal to make them at ear level. Here in this case, the S55 height is just ideal. Now some speakers are a bit forgiving if you keep them off axis, but for S55, you do need to maintain ear level height for better treble response since they don't have any waveguide. I was listening to Ed Sheeran's Perfect. I felt that the voice sounded really prominent, a bit warmer sounding though. The guitar also sounded good. And this song is not bass heavy at all. For some female vocals, I've tried Skyfall by Adele and it was okay. The sound was well detailed but it really lacks that fine high frequency texture of the KF Q series. Now I bring up KF all the time because at ProFX shop where I purchased my speakers, they are the official dealer of KF and POC audio. So I did extensive testing over there. Ok, let's not talk about bass heavy song like Let's Work It Out by Raghav. If you haven't heard of this song, go take a listen. It's sort of a remix of an old Bollywood song and it's my go to song when I want to check bass. The POC S55 can go down to 40Hz. And when I play this song, you will not only hear but also feel those low notes hitting on your chest. It's not really fast or accurate bass but it's not boomy either. The bass is really satisfying but don't expect house shaking subwoofer level bass. Also I just disable Odyssey for 2 channel music. It seems to suck all the bass from the towers but Odyssey is great for movies though. For mid range, I feel that lower mid range is prominent and a little fatiguing for my ears at high volume. But I have no major complaints since I watch movies most of the time so my S35 handles all the vocals. For movies, I feel the bass sometimes overpower the center channel if you don't keep them at the right volume. Luckily, my receiver did a fine job here. I ran Odyssey and it seems to auto recognize the correct distance and the volume delays also adjusted correctly. And trust me, with Odyssey calibration, these sounds a lot better especially for movies. In a movie like John Wick 3, you can literally feel every gunshot fired if you keep the crossover at 40Hz. Any bass heavy sound will good in them. Where the S55 lack is the high frequency range. In a movie like A Quiet Place, you will lose out those fine environmental details like wind blowing or footstep on the sand. Now this is maybe because my Denon 3600H is unable to power the S55 but I'm also planning to buy Maran's 5 channel amplifier so that might boost the high frequency. In a movie like Ready Player One, they really do shine. 
चैप्टर टू इज ट्रूली अ डेमो ऑर दिस इन Right, so let's all sum it up then. The Pog S55 is really a good-looking speaker. The build quality is really impressive. If I do the knuckle test, they do feel solid, but needs little bit more work on the quality control side. Cause on my unit, one of the front cover magnet doesn't attach properly. It's something that I noticed. They produced clear and punchy bass, but not as extreme subwoofer-like chest-thumping tactile bass. But definitely good enough for music without a subwoofer. Mid range is also good. They have a very smooth and pleasing sound, but they are a bit of heavy on the lower mid range. The sound stage is excellent. High frequency is not as detailed, and they tend to roll off a bit early. It's not like treble is bad. It's just not as overemphasized as the bass, and most people will be satisfied. They do require a lot of effort in terms of placement to achieve that sweet spot. On Pro FX, they are selling at sixty two thousand five hundred, and with that price, I'm giving the Pog Signature S fifty five an eight out of ten. Hey, thanks for watching, and have a good one.